Hi everyone, this is Arun Prabhu, Department of Computer Applications, Kaiser College of Arts and Science for Women. The subject we are looking after is the data mining and warehousing. This video is about the fourth unit web mining. Web mining. Before entering into the web mining definition, we are about to discuss a small thing about the Google. So why we will be using Google frequently? The data which we don't know if we need to know it immediately simply we will take the mobile or the laptop or the system and google it we can get the information faster through various sources in the same way we will be searching through the internet or uh, various websites for getting a particular information here the definition is based on this searching activity so web mining it is the use of the data mining techniques to automatically discover and extract information from various sources like uh, web documents, web services, websites, etc. And also, it is used for discovering the useful and in required information from the www, that's World Wide Web, and also its usage patterns. And simply to define using data mining techniques to make the web more and more useful and also profitable for someone because not everyone are getting profit because of the web mostly they will be getting benefited because of the information from the website and also to increase the efficiency of our interaction with the web for data extractions so these are the four main uh, techniques used for data mining first one is the association rules second thing is sequential patterns third one is classification and the fourth one is clustering coming to the classification of web mining techniques the web mining techniques are being classified in three main categories. First one is web content mining, depends on the content, web structure mining, how it is being structured, and the web usage mining, what are all the uses of those techniques and content. Coming to web structure mining, the general structure summary about the website and the web page is being clearly given. Depending upon the hyperlink which is given for particular data or particular site or particular page, Categorizing the web pages and also its related information in the domain level that's said to be web structure mining scope. Discovering the web page structure and also the discovering the nature of the hierarchy of hyperlinks in the website and its structures. Let's come into the web usage mining. So first let us see what is meant by web usage mining. Usage it is just discovering the navigation patterns from web data websites or web pages so whenever we are clicking any hyperlink or whenever we are downloading something how it is being taken the control is being taken from one place or one page to another one this is the prediction of user behavior while the user interacts with the web here comes the major part of prediction because once if a user is being watched or noted down for few days it can be came into major conclusion that our prediction that what he or she is going to search for and download for so it also it helps to improve the large collection of resources is actually all the resources cannot be maintained by each and every individual but it is it can be used by everyone from different locations that's the main part of the usage mining coming to the conclusion part the major limitations of web mining researches are listed here so that will be disadvantage or the negative part of anything so in the same way the first one is lack of suitable test collections that can be reused by researchers so this is the major problem and also it is difficult to collect web usage data across different websites there may be limitations there may be privacy rules like that and in future research directions multimedia data mining is going to play a major role even to say it is playing a major role a picture is worth a thousands of words. In the same way, a movie is worth a millions of pictures. That's the thing. Then coming to multilingual knowledge extraction. The web page translations is being done. That comes to the multilingual knowledge extraction. Wireless web, that is WML, HTML, the hidden web, the various forms and which are dynamically generated web pages. Depends on the user's interaction level and the user's necessity, these dynamically generated web pages are being created and utilized. Coming to the semantic web, this semantic web contributes a major role in data extraction. 
with respect to the different nature of different uses and different requirements of these uses. Hope uh, this is this introduction part is useful for you. Let us meet in the next video. Thank you.